Welcome back to the GEX1. I am the Radio Man 03, and we are playing Minecraft on the Xbox One. Welcome back. Welcome to episode 32. Great to have you along. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out the video. We are above ground of the GEX1. Ah, look at this big old guy down here, Slam. Messing around a swamp playing like that. Sun is going down. Wanted to show you the update on the stable that we were working on last episode. I'm not extremely pleased with the entrance, and I think you might agree with me. It's got kind of a pyramid scheme going on, and I don't care for it. The reason it has that is I had to add some more redstone to it, so I'm going to rework this entrance way. We'll, we'll rework this thing. But what I did was I put redstone in so we can have gates like so that open and close, and mobs can't get in. The horses wouldn't be able to get out if we turn them loose in here. Here is what the pens look like now. Here's Thunder in his pen. He's got water. We've got some hay. And I don't know what it is about the animals, but they sure do love to get up on top of everything. But each one of these pens also has a redstone gate on them as well that he can walk in and out of and be uh, contained nicely in his pen. I think he's quite pleased with those. I'm not sure if I'm going to swap this out maybe for some grass or dirt in here. But uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. But Thunder seems pretty pleased with his uh, his pen right here, his his stable area. And I'm already knowing that this is going to go back into the mountainside. So what we'll wind up doing is we'll have, yes, yes, Thunder, we'll have you here first. So we can always see him or we'll turn this into like maybe a supply area. And then we will run the stable down this way and uh, have plenty of room for donkeys and uh, horses and stuff like that. Because there are other horses in the world that I would like to get other than just Thunder. So I would suggest that I get a white horse and call it Lightning. I like that idea as well. I think Trax was the one that mentioned that, so we'll, we'll do that as well. But this is what the stables look like inside now, and the redstone is real simple, basic, like we've been doing with all the stuff. Just goes down, hooks up to the pistons, and you've got your up and down motion like so. And I think those work out better than the wood fencing does. It kind of sticks with my whole kind of uh, futuristic concrete theme, and they, they do look futuristic, I think. But the entranceway... I'm not too sure about that. Heaven and Earth had mentioned that uh, he's he's a very traditionalist when it comes to how his um, hey buddy take a take an arrow to the face right to the face uh, a traditionalist when it comes to stables meaning there should be some wood involved and stuff like that and I think I probably will add some log wood style into this build uh, in, in the front entrance way of it at least. And back in here, we'll, we'll continue with the theme we have going on in here. Some things will change, but not a whole lot is going to change. I do like the way they look right now. Very solid, very sturdy, and Thunder seems pretty happy with the way things are. We have to go on a, another quest today. As you can see, I have Eyes of Ender on me. Uh, this last weekend, we went into Variety 3's world. A bunch of us were looking for something to do, and we are like, well, let's go check out and find the Stronghold. So she had Ender Eyes, so we threw Ender Eyes, we found her stronghold, and her portal was broken on her world. Only, I want to say, less than half of it was actually there. The other half was covered in stone. So I'm wanting to go out and find our stronghold. We're not going to go into the end or anything else. I just want to find it and check on our stronghold portal. Now, if your stronghold portal is broken like that one is, the only way to fix it is to go into creative mode and build it with the creative mode items that you can have there. However, when you go into creative mode, what's going to happen is your leaderboards are going to change. Uh, so <clears throat> like here, here, here are my leaderboards. As you can see, I have uh, uh, nothing in normal. And I have nothing in easy as well. I've not played anything on the Xbox One in easy or normal. It's been all hardcore the entire time. So this is where my stats are right now on the different items. But if you go into creative mode, what I've heard is that it'll reset this stuff and it'll mess it up. So we don't want to do that. But you can kind of see uh, what I've got going on farming. I'm, I'm like way behind everybody on my friends list right now. Uh, and kills and stuff, I'm at the top. We're, we're doing really well there. We've got uh, quite a bit of that. But look at CJ, 5,085 pigmen. <laughs> it's just amazing uh, some of the numbers he has. He's got some really cool farms on his world. We're going to take a tour of CJ's world eventually as well. Um, <clears throat> but anyways, we're going to set off on a journey and uh, go find the stronghold, dig down to it, see if we can't find... Uh, our portal and make sure it is in one piece uh, a complete piece hopefully it's a complete portal i would really hate to go into creative mode to uh, fix it but if need be we will i'm not going to dump this world just because our portal 
is broken if it happens to be broken. I guess it's a kind of a slim chance, but it did happen to Variety. So it got me concerned about ours. Is our portal going to be okay? So I hope you're up for a little journey today. We are going to take Thunder with us. We're going to saddle him up and uh, get him ready for a journey with us. Take him out there and... Uh, oh, I hear a zombie. I hear a zombie. Let's close this up just so nobody comes walking in on us from behind. All right, let's grab Thunder. Let's get his saddle on him. There we go. Beautiful. All right, buddy. Time for us to go for a little bit of a ride. So I've got these set up. They work out pretty good. Um, as you can see, we can we can reach and access that really well. I like the fact that this one is up high. And with that being up high, I don't know if there's an easier way for me to be able to rig that up so the wiring doesn't have to be quite so much. But I had to actually bring it out a little ways in order to get that wiring to work for me anyways. You know, my redstone skills are pretty pretty null and void but uh you know I'm, I'm i'm learning i'm i'm slowly but surely learning let's throw our first ender eye and find out which direction we need to go it looks like we are heading through the desert area did that break did we break it or is it okay i think we broke that one. Oh, taking a little damage there to the head a little damage to the noggin <laughs> hope everyone's doing great i am it is actually a tuesday after Ooh, creepa Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, you, you can't blow up fast enough. Thunder is way too fast for you, Creeper. Um, uh, Monday, we were doing a little more Radio Craft. Those of you who have watched the Radio Craft episode, thank you so much for doing so. Variety 3, as always, my wife, you know, that's who she is. She always has such great ideas. And uh, once we found her stronghold was broken, um, we kind of like, well, now what are we going to do? And she was very disappointed because she had some of her very first redstone uh, farms and stuff on there. So she came up with the idea of, well, you know, I she loves having everybody in the world with her and, and playing and stuff. So we decided we would do radio craft on her world, which is just a fabulous idea. Let's check this again. Yeah. Oh, can we catch it? Yeah, right back in the old bucket there. All right. So we're we continue the same direction we're headed here through the desert and uh so that's what we're gonna do you know most of the time uh we record uh, radio craft on the weekends but i'll probably be doing some weekday stuff with her she had some extra days off this week so i was uh playing with her on there a little bit we do have a little more video footage of uh of the world right now that i will be uploading this week and then this weekend i'm sure we'll get back in there and try to get a few of us together to uh do a little more building and, and work on the world but uh, she's been doing a really good job all on her own right now. She's been doing a great job. But Echo's been in there and CJ's been in there and some a little bit of building has gone on. So yeah, we'll we'll continue to show you the progress on that and that'll be Radio Craft. It makes a lot of sense. It just it's really going to work out perfect for uh, for our needs in terms of Radio Craft. Uh, maybe we throw another one right now. Let's see where it goes. Yeah, we're still we're still moving forward. Oh, looks like that one may have broken, huh? Uh, I think so. These uh, Eye of Ender I took off of the uh, the priests that we have. And uh, I traded some of our emeralds for them. We have eight or nine Ender Pearls that we could have taken and turned it into Eyes of Ender. If you didn't know, you take a uh, you take Blaze Powder and you take a Ender Pearl and mix those together. And uh, you can make your own Eyes of Ender. So we have a few of those extra that we can do if we need to. Uh Good job, good job, Thunder. Nice work, nice work. The jungle is always a tricky place to get around in with a horse. Uh, that's gonna be that's gonna be a little bit tricky there. So we're gonna just gonna follow these eyes of Ender until they turn around and go the other direction, and then we'll find a happy medium, and that's where we'll dig straight down. Not straight down. We'll do a spiral staircase down and see if we can't find our stronghold, and hopefully, well, maybe we'll find some nice chests with some goodies inside. <laughs> And uh, the portal as well. And hopefully it will be in one piece. Come on. Come on, Thunder. You can get through there. Atta boy. Bad boy. We are all enjoying the horses very much. As you can see on Radio Craft, we have a nice stock of horses right now. And uh, I've got another video coming up that you're going to be interested in too. If you want to learn a little bit more about the horses and what you can do with them. So you'll be watching for that one. It should be a relatively short video, I think, as well. But uh, CJ taught us something about the horses that was really cool. And uh, very interesting. Oh, what do we hear? Ho, 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 ho. Speaking of goodies. Oh. I know, right? Yeah. Listen to him. He's like, 
radio, you have got to stop here and at least check this out. I always forget that when you're on the horse's back, you can't just click things out of your inventory. You actually have to move them manually. Uh, let's get off Thunder. Let's, let's pin him up. Uh, one thing you're going to want to make sure you do, make sure he can't get near any cactuses. Because for some reason, the animals just love to go get themselves hooked up on cactuses. So let's do that. Move that one out of the way. And I don't think he can stretch to any of the others. I think he'll be okay. Let's go on in here and see what we find. Maybe we'll find a nice name tag in here. That would be sweet. Very nice. Okay. I will hang up some torches in here too. Oh, oh, oh my. Oh. Look at this. This is weird. We're not going to find anything in here, it looks like. The chests are gone. Oh, no. Do I feel ripped off? Yeah, I do. Look at this. Cave ruined it. The cave ruined the bottom of this desert temple. There's no TNT. There's no nothing. I wonder if the TNT went off somehow and blew this crater in here. I don't know. That is really strange. Never seen that before. Well, whatever. I guess that takes care of that exploration, huh? It's ruined. Doggone. That's too bad. That is really awful. I was kind of hoping we'd find another name tag in there, but uh, that's not going to be the case. All right. Get back on Thunder and off we go. I'm sure there's other desert temples in this world that we can uh, get back to. No big deal. Oh, nice jump. Nice jump, Thunder. Nice jump. Let's see here. Uh, it'd be nice if we could actually wind up under the desert. You guys ever see these Eye of Enders at night? They're really awesome. Oh. Oh, we're heading back. Oh, we're somewhere in the, in the middle here. We're heading back this way. Let's throw one right here. Oh, we're, we're very close now. That eye vendor went up in this tree here. I gotta find that. There it is. There we go. Got it. Ah, get back here. Get back here, you. Um, I'm thinking it's right in this area here. Let's get up here and throw one more. See which way it goes. <laughs> okay. Let's go out this way a little bit and see what happens. Oh, no, 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 this way, this way, this way. There we go. Oh, it's right here. It's right in here. All right, it's going to be right in this area here, I think. Now, before we uh, take off, uh, the horses uh, seem to be breaking their leads or the leads are despawning around the horses. So we are going to have to uh, build him a little pen. And then jot down those coordinates. Oh, geez, there's lots of mobs out here tonight. All right, let's do that. Let's get a fence going here. Uh, where's his lead at? Oh, oh, thunder. Come on back. Come on back here. Just a little pen. And uh, I just noticed that the leads are breaking. We uh, we had a little experience with this on the radio craft world as well. That um, sometimes the leads break and then the horse will wander off. So you don't want that to happen. So here we go. He's nice and safe and sound in there. I see him, Thunder. I'm all over it. All right. Let's do one more of these. Well, that's not going straight up. That is actually leading us back in the other direction. Oh, gosh. Let's head off in this direction and see if we can uh, get a better idea as to where this is supposed to go. Mobs everywhere. It's so much more dangerous now, huh? Oh, I hear baby zombie. Oh, you, you, you. Come here. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> uh, let's go in here. Let's see something real quick. No, we're right. Okay, this is going to be it right over here. I'm second-guessing myself. 
let's go ahead and uh, dig down right in this area here. Let's get a little food in us. This would be cool. We could dig. We could bake some kind of a stronghold type uh, jungle stronghold entrance. That might be kind of fun. Okay, so he's going to be right out there. I'm going to jot down the coordinates of where I'm at, and then I'll be right back. First, I'm going to get up in this tree where it's safe. <laughs> Okay, we have begun our descent into the depths of Minecraft. Hopefully we are in our correct location. I hear a bat, which is a good sign. And we've got spooky cave sounds. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to do a spiral staircase down. I hear some water. If we bump into a cave, odds are if we follow that cave around, we're bound to bump into where we need to be. Let's check our level. 38. So we're going to go down just a few more. And we'll kind of branch out a little bit and see if we can find... Uh, Aha! Stronghold Ho! <laughs> that is just what we're looking for, baby. Ooh. Oh, don't want to wipe out my staircase. Hold on a second here. Radio's doing something stupid there. Let's clear out a little area here so we can get in. Oh, that water. I wonder if that's one of the waterfalls inside the stronghold that we're hearing. Awesome. Can I get a... Oh, yeah. We are in. Where's our bad guys at? I don't want anybody coming in behind us here. Let's get this all kind of sealed up a little bit and lit. We are not going to turn that waterfall off. Beautiful. Let's hope this just kind of dead ends as well. More or less it does it looks like. Sort of, kind of. Maybe not. <laughs> Typical Minecraft cave. Twist and turn, twist and turn. That sounds like one angry spider. All right. Okay, we're good. We're good. Let's head back. Let's grab some of this coal right here. We don't have any extra coal with us, so we're going to take some of this. I do have extra wood, though, so we can make more torches just in case we need them. I've got two stacks with us, but we've just burned through almost half a stack already. That's right, spider. That's right, we're going to be cleaning out this cave for sure since our stronghold is here. That is for sure. This would be another adventure zone for us to get all kinds of awesome resources and stuff. Yeah, I love Minecraft. <laughs> there's so much to do. And now there's even more things to do as well. All right, you guys ready? Let's do it. Let's jump on in here and uh, get some adventure underway. Now remember, if you're, if you're new to... Where'd you take that where'd you take that fall damage at, buddy? Oh, there's a band of mine shaft in here too. Oh my god, those could be poison spiders. Those could be cave spiders. We've really got to be careful. Open. There's our noisy guy. No, it's just a regular spider. Whew. We're looking for the libraries, too. The libraries would be really nice to have. I'm going to try to make sure I light this up really nicely for you guys. We can also grab some of this um, uh, mossy cobblestone. This mossy brick and cracked brick. Awesome. Makes for great building. Great, great building. Oh, this is awesome. We've got two, two I'm going to say it again, awesome things mixed together. Abandoned mine shaft and a stronghold. Crazy, huh? 
Oh, there's a chest. Where's that water? Where's the splashing coming from? Baby zombie. <laughs> there's danger everywhere. There's our library. Oh, excellent. Oh, this is beautiful. This is really spectacular. That, see that block? See how it does not break? Watch this one. See how easy it breaks? This one does not. There is a silverfish in that block. You do not want to get those activated right now. We want to hold off on dealing with that kind of stuff until we're a little more prepared for it. Right now, we're just hoping to find our stronghold and that it's in one piece. Our portal, I should say. I'm nervous and I'm scared. <laughs> I really am. These places just scare the crap out of me. Oh, you know what? I bet he's underneath the stairs here. Oh, look at this place. This is so cool. Come on, name tag. Oh, I can't open it. There's a block over the top of it. There you are. Hey, little fella. Hey, little fella. Oh, look at him go. He's Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> he's fast. <laughs> Poor guy. He's just hes just no name tag. Put a torch there to say we've been here. Oh, this is the weirdest, weirdest looking stronghold I've ever seen. This is so bizarre. Uh, let's go back to where that library was and see if we can uh, find our way down into that. Oh my gosh, what a web of stuff. Yeah! Come on, zombie. Oh, look what I got off a skeleton the other day. Down at the skelly spawner? I did not know they were doing this. Infinity bow. Huh? Yeah, got that off a skeleton in the spawner. He dropped it. I thought they were still dropping just the power one bows or regular bows, but this was an infinity. So we're going to put... A nice power four or five on here. We're going to have a pretty sweet bow. Hey, guys. I hear your little feet. I hear your spidery feet coming after me. Well, oh, those are cave spiders. Nope, that one's not. Yeah, it is. I'm poisoned. I'm poisoned. I'm in trouble. I'm going to die down here. I need to eat food. I need to block myself in. Whew, that was a close one. Don't not eat food, radio. You must eat food. All right, let's get some stuff. Let's get some torches going again. Definitely want to stay away from that area. <laughs> ah, found it. Why am I on fire? Oh, because they came out of that lava. Okay, we know we have a complete portal now. That was the main goal today. It's in a very unusual place as well. And I'm going to get out of here before these silverfish start tearing the place apart. I dropped in here. I need to climb back out of here. Where did I drop in it? Right here. Okay, so here is our portal. Let's go ahead and get these coordinates written down as well. <clears throat> but I do believe we have a full portal. When I heard those silverfish the first time, I... got like it. A... Oh, they're just coming out of the blocks trying to get to me. <clears throat> okay, before they destroy that place, let's back off a little bit. We will uh, stair step out of here and build a nice passageway right to this location. Well, that was a tough one to find. I mean, it is buried uh, actually through a wall. I had to traverse quite a ways to get into here. Here's the staircase. 
that leads down to it, but I believe that is like a dead end down there. So we, we did find it. I don't know. I can't remember. I've, I've twist and turn through here so many times of cave spiders biting me and stuff and poisoning me. So uh, it is just a crazy, crazy location. But we do have a full portal, so we know that, that that is really good news. So let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and stare on out of here after I write down the coordinates for this. And then we will head back to the GEX one and celebrate. Huh. Look at where we popped out. Right here next to Thunder. Excellent. Perfect. Perfect. We will leave that pen right there. Boom and a boom. And uh, now I've got to write those coordinates down since we stair stepped out. This will be our. We'll do an entrance way in here somewhere. A real nice entrance way to uh, mark the uh, the end portal. So uh, hold on one second. Well, you know what? Instead of riding all the way back to the GEX one, I think I'm going to just hang out here for the night. There's Thunder. He's quite pleased with uh, seeing me again, and I'm very happy to see him again without a death on my record here. Uh, so I think that's going to wrap up the episode. We found our stronghold portal like we wanted to. Uh, it is intact. It is in one piece. It is just right below us, and that is fantastic. So we'll, of course, have to plot out a route how to get here, perhaps maybe a rail line or, or some way, or maybe a nice path for me and Thunder to take a nice ride over here. Every time we want to come here, we'll clear a nice path out all the way here and, and, and line it with lights and all kinds of cool stuff. It's quite a distance. It is quite a distance, well over 700 blocks to get here. But uh, well worth it. We do have our stronghold portal, and it is intact, so I am quite happy about that. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. I am the Radio Man 03, and I look forward to talking to you again next time.